All right, Salim Rezai here, and I want to talk about an older trial called the Poker Trial, which was published back in 2016. Now, this was a randomized clinical trial looking at propofol versus ketofol in adult patients in the emergency department requiring procedural sedation. I have the PMID link for you up above if you want to go find this on PubMed. So the clinical question they were trying to answer is, what is the occurrence of respiratory adverse events, which they defined as desaturation, apnea, or hypoventilation, requiring some sort of intervention for procedural sedation in patients getting ketofol versus propofol alone? So here's what they did. It was a multi-center randomized clinical trial comparing ketofol to propofol. These were patients that were 18 years of age and older, requiring some form of deep procedural sedation. Their primary outcome was occurrence of respiratory adverse events requiring intervention, which again, they defined as desaturation, which was an SpO2 of less than 93%, apnea, which on end title showed no spontaneous breathing for 15 seconds, or hypoventilation, which was eight breaths per minute or less for a period of time. The results, no difference. There was no difference in any of these respiratory adverse events that required some sort of intervention. Now there's some key limitations to discuss here. There's no control for what type of pre-oxygenation they did in these patients and how much opioids they got. These are both confounders and things that we need to know about a study like this. But to take it a step further, thinking about labeling multiple syringes, using different medications, how much of each medication have you been given, to me seems like a recipe for disaster. Additional math plus potentially more complications from not being able to keep track of all this stuff. So the clinical take-home point. In adults requiring procedural sedation, there's no benefit to ketofol compared to propofol alone and with the increased complexity of keeping track of multiple meds and syringes, it could lead to more medication errors. So for me, I am not going all in on ketofol for procedural sedation. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and questions, and until next time.